Everything we have first starting in here in the greenhouse, we have a very highly insulated building, um, an R23 insulation value with a southern wall that's transmissive. So that's a polyethylene coating that is much more insulative than glass and we get similar transmission rates. It also disperses the light so we don't get hot spots on the plants. Then we have LED lighting to minimize our lighting cost. The LEDs are actually focused on the spectrums of light that really get the plants to grow. Plants are green, so they reflect green light. You don't need green light in your growth spectrum. We're reducing energy by the design of the greenhouse and the systems we're using, as well as with the aeroponic units, reducing the amount of water that we need by 90% and nutrients by 60%. And the energy systems we're including are the energy cabin, which has uh, solar thermal panels on it, which provide most of the heat. It also has a wood pellet boiler, so it's a renewable fuel source for when the solar thermal isn't enough. That heats both the greenhouse and the digester. Our estimates based on previous usage of the digester was that it can basically divert 650 pounds per day from the trash. And basically that's every single three days you divert one ton. And right now we pay $178 per ton of food. So over a semester, that means we can save about $6,000 just in diverting the trash. And that's not even counting all the money you make from the methane that you're generating or the effluent, which is all the fertilizer that we're not paying for, for the lettuce in the greenhouse. Anybody that doesn't have an ideal climate for growing, so almost any place except the shores of California. Um, in cold weather, like what we're doing here, this is a solution so that we can grow year-round in other places anywhere where there's severe restrictions on water we reduce water usage by on average 90 percent with this system um, and we can grow virtually anything in this system we don't have some of the limitations of a lot of the hydroponic systems about the only thing we can't grow is corn so anything else you can grow in these systems it could be used in a wide variety of places for a wide variety of reasons